Families across central New York continue to make big adjustments in these times of distance learning. News Channel Line's Adrian Smith spoke with one Syracuse family trying to find that perfect balance moving forward. The doors here at Syracuse Latin and schools across New York State are going to remain closed until the end of the academic school year. But how are students and families coping? Every day is different, so you just got to roll with what's going on. It's just been very hard. Savannah Montuli is a mother of two and a central employee. Her oldest son, Antonio, is a sixth grade student at the Syracuse Latin School. And like many kids, he's needed to adjust, making his home the new classroom. But it hasn't been easy. Uh, it's been pretty rough. It's, there's a lot more work to do than just going to school. Um, and a lot of it is on the computer, of course, which if there's something wrong with the computer or the internet, you can't really do that. And it isn't just hard for Antonio to handle the workload. It's just yeah. as hard for mom. Yeah, just to see him struggle with work and get frustrated. It, it, as a parent, it hurts. It breaks your heart because you know your student. You know how smart he is. You see the report cards that came in the last two, three marking periods, and you just see the struggle and defeat every single day. The Montuli family hopes to find the right balance as the schools remain closed. But right now, they're just taking it one day at a time. Every day we set a goal and we try to stick to it, but there's just days that we fail and it, it's okay. It's okay that we're not doing what we're supposed to do. There's a lot going on in the world and as long as we're healthy and safe and all of my family are together, that's all that matters right now. Making the best of this situation, we've all been dealt. In Syracuse, Adrian Smith, News Channel 9. Adrian, thank you. Governor Cuomo also says the decision on summer school and camps will be made by the end of this month.